Well, hello, I'm Bob Dendry. This is Boring Guy Place, and welcome back to City Skylines 2, where we are building Azure Delta. First of all, thank you for the comments on the last video. It was a bit of a different one, uh, you know, playing around with the road builder. I mentioned there were a few bugs in the left-hand traffic um, sort of implementation of the build. Um, those have all been fixed up now, so we shouldn't have any nodes resetting, things like that. Unfortunately, the side effect of that was that I actually needed to recreate some of the roads I created. Um, so I've gone through before I recorded this and, you know, gone through and did that. And everything looks to be going pretty well. Now, for this episode, I've got a couple of things in store. This is going to be more, I would say, of a maintenance episode than a doing big builds. Now, what I've noticed is that we do have quite a few areas where we have quite a bit of congestion building up. Our cross city motorway is actually one of those. As you can see, we've got traffic backing up quite far and back to pretty much at our spooey. It's actually primarily because of this guy here, our Pearl Street interchange. Now, before we built out Katara, this was not a major interchange at all, but it now is. And part of the reason we're having so much issue is because this is such a popular walking path. I'm, I'm actually really interested in this because Look at how busy our train station is. How many have we got waiting here right now? Let's have a look. Apparently only 101. Well, we've got a lot of people getting off the train, that's for sure. And that might tell us that people are walking because we need some better transport for them, first of all. Um, and it's also telling us that a busy road like this, we probably need to work on. We probably shouldn't have unprotected pedestrian movements when you've got traffic pouring off the motorway like this. So... First of all, we're going to get some traffic lights in for this one, and we might also boost some of our lanes in both directions uh, to allow some dedicated turning, I think. So, uh, do we go for one? I don't know if that's worth. It's a lot, isn't it? So we might go a 3-1 asymmetric in either direction. We could also possibly disable right-hand turns. We might make this a no right turn zone. Which might just, once again, increase the flow of traffic a little bit, I think. Why not? Let's do that. So we will need to actually slightly realign these roads then. Because <laughs> we want um, them to sort of line up a little bit better. We can do one, actually. It'll be fine. That should be good. And we will use our lane connector tool. And we are going to remove right turns and make them instead a straight through movement. So we're actually in fact now getting dedicated left turns, which I think is important at least for the traffic coming up the screen um, because there is quite a demand for people wanting to turn left there and yes let's get some traffic lights in here as well and we don't need split phase or anything like that here because i think we're in a pretty much a good position with the vanilla on this one at least for the moment anyway so hopefully we should start to see traffic smoothing out here a little bit we could also i mean it would be great if we had some Custom light phases would be great here because we could maybe remove the pedestrian crossing here. In fact, we could probably do that anyway. That will allow these left turn movements to be a little bit better if we only have pedestrian accessibility on these two streets. Let's do that. We'll disable that one and that one. And then once everyone like updates, obviously, that should make the left turn a hell of a lot smoother, I think. But we've got still people wanting to do it. I don't know if they're just updating their um I don't know if they're just updating their pathfinding or they're wanting to break the law. Who knows? It should be a little bit better now. I don't know why I didn't put dedicated merge lanes in here. It's a bit weird. Um, and it's causing a little bit of congestion, so I'm going to upgrade these guys while we're here.
it's possible we were on the edge of the map at the time, maybe, and that's what caused the issue. Um, but we've also got... I'd say there's quite a bit of congestion, but there's not really. The cars just aren't able to work out what they're doing there. So I'll just see if maybe if we smoothen out that exit there, if it flows onto this at all. Not sure, though. This is a big one here as well, where we're seeing quite a bit of congestion happening. It's become a bit more sort of major, I think. We've got people also using the motorway here to come around, and that is also sort of flowing through to backing up on the motorway there as well. Ugh. I've got a lot of people using the bus lane that shouldn't be as well, but I'm going to pretend that's not happening, so... Uh, we definitely need to boost the number of lanes here, probably up to a... 4-2, I think. Uh, I think that'll work out quite well, and it should line up a little bit better as well with this street, I think. So we will need to use our road builder for that. I don't think we've got a 4-2 already, do we? Got a 4-3. No, we do have a 4-2. What am I talking about? Of course we do. So we'll add in a few of those. Um, what I also want to do, I think I actually want to have a wider median on this, just so our through lanes line up a little tiny bit better. So I might actually use the upgrade tool just to shift this over. Like so. And then we'll add a, a nice median so that our straight through traffic has a, you know, a straight punch through there. So we'll go into... this guy here and we will create a new um, a new road. So we're going to go 4 plus 2 with wide median. Okay, apparently 5 is the widest we can go. Can we stack medians next to each other? Does it look dumb? It looks a little bit dumb. That's unfortunate. But it's all right. It's fine. Where did our 4 plus 2 with wide median go? Did we not save it? Hang on a sec. Not this one, is it? No. Oh, here it is. Okay, cool. So we'll upgrade this one as well. Uh, we might... I think that's a little bit better. It doesn't obviously line up entirely, um, but it's a little bit better. I might as well relay a section here just so it lines up a little bit nicer there. This is just a 2 plus 2. We'll use our complex curve tool. A little bit better. And I think we can use our lane connector tool as well. Um, just to change directions we've got here. I don't know why that's coming up as a left turn. Obviously it's not, but we know that, don't we? And now that we've got that, we've got a dedicated left and right. So I think that should be just a bit nicer there. We can also get a dedicated turning lane in on this as well. Nice long one. Oh, actually. Even better. Let's use a slip lane.
A little bit nicer. Uh, we don't need traffic lights over here, of course. What is going on there? Uh, a bit ugly. We can use move it to lift this up just a little bit. Then we will turn off traffic lights. Okay, I think that should allow us to get traffic flowing through there a little bit better. And hopefully the changes we've made up here are also going to improve from that basis as well. Wow. This intersection here also struggles a little bit from time to time. Are they, Where are these people wanting to go? Are they going straight through? What the fuck's that about then? Um, well, we can fix that by turning off our straight. That should hopefully get traffic flowing through there a little bit better. I think we actually need to make this a 3 plus 3 as well, because now that we have two right lane turns... Um, from our motorways. You sort of can only use the main lane if you're going to be doing a U-turn. So I think we'll boost this up to a 3 plus 3. I think we can actually make this um, a little bit more of a compact 3 plus 3. We can... So we've got... Do we have no parking? We don't even have no parking. So we'll do that on both sides. And then we should be able to... Reduce the width of the sidewalk. I'm not seeing any reduced width, mind you. I don't think anything's actually happening right now. Uh, but yeah, we can certainly get an extra car lane in both directions. And that should be okay. Or can we get rid of the sidewalk entirely? We can, but I mean, I suppose who's going to be walking across here? No one. So we can probably do that. There we go. Actually, it looks not too bad. Looks sort of nice. Then we'll use traffic to just change this up a little bit. This guy will not be able to turn, so we'll just have one turning lane in both directions. Also want this to be a, a safe movement, <laughs> not, not an unsafe one. Uh, so that should improve that a little bit. It looks like traffic is, I mean, still quite massive, isn't it? So it looks like traffic is slowing down again as it comes up to this turn off. I wonder if we could boost this short stretch all the way to three lanes if that helps at all. Otherwise, we might need to revisit this interchange in terms of maybe improving it a little bit. But let's add more lanes to the problem for the moment because as we know, that is the best way to solve any problem. And yeah, we'll just see how we go there. Oh no, what's happened there? Fix you up. I did have a question from Tyler Hendricks in the comments of my last video, um, wondering if we could use the Road Builder mod to do something about the airport roads. Um, I, I certainly agree with the feedback, they are massive. And the verdict is in, you can't select them. So unfortunately, there's nothing we can do to change those, but I'm sure it'll be coming before too long. In the asset editor, which of course hasn't been released yet, you can I would say most likely edit this to fix up those lanes. So that might be something we look at eventually. Um, but yeah, at the moment, unfortunately, we're stuck with our five lane road there. <laughs> On our cozy highway, our roundabouts are actually starting to cause a problem as well. As you can see, we've got traffic backing up, wanting to come off and go down the highway. And it looks as though we're probably above the capacity that roundabouts can handle, at least this first one here. This next one might be okay. I don't know why we've got, okay, a garbage truck just collecting rubbish from the motorway. Fair enough. Which was holding up traffic. Why are we doing that? You don't need to collect rubbish from there. Um, weird. 
So yeah, we're definitely going to eliminate this guy here. I think we can just delete it and it will go away. I'm going to pause. Yeah, perfect. And we can do that. And we probably at this point want to be upgrading or downgrading, depending on how you think about it, um, these roads to urban roads. At the moment, they're highways. And I think we probably can start to upgrade them to urban roads with sidewalks and things like that. So we will get in um, a sort of a limited, I guess, amount of upgrades. Ooh. Unfortunately, it looks like... What is that? That's just a business, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, we could go slightly to the side. You know, why not? Let's, let's, <laughs> let's give them a good day by not destroying their business. And we're going to... Let me just go all the way and replace this with an urban road. And then on the other side of the roundabout, it's already set up like that. So there we go. Um, first steps at, I guess, I don't know, modernizing, whatever you want to say, this intersection here. We're, of course, going to get in some dedicated turning lanes as well. I think we'll probably do we'll probably do this one now as well. Um, so that should make things a little bit easier. All right, that's a pretty basic change we've made here, but I'm hoping it will alleviate some of the traffic and the pressure that is putting on our motorway. Now, one thing I've noticed over here at Wallaby Island, if we pop over to our pollution view. It's not there yet, but this is starting to clear up quite a lot. If we look at our industrial area over here, obviously it's bright or dark red, uh, depending on how you view it. So this is on the way to being able to be built on, and I'm really excited about that. What we're going to need to do here, though, we need some better public transport. Of course, we made this sort of fortuitous decision, I guess, to run our metro pretty much directly under here, which should allow us to get a metro connection in. But I was thinking we might potentially look at getting some light rail into um, this part of our city on the sort of the old town side. And I had an idea, and of course using Road Builder again, because that's just who I am these days. I was thinking maybe we could get a light rail um, sort of line from Concord, um, sort of running along this road here with some probably dedicated light rail sort of facility, and then head across this bridge into Wallaby Island. I think that'll probably work out quite nice. Um, and should hopefully service some communities, uh, add some missing links, I guess, in for potentially people that don't have as good public transport as they would like. We've also got the opportunity then to extend the light rail, either sort of looping back into Palmer Square or across to this new development when that happens. So I think, unlike what most governments do these days, we're going to get in our infrastructure ready to go for the suburb rather than the other way around. So we're going to be creating, once again, a new road. So this one's going to have separated light rail and um, car traffic. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, there is still like reversing here. No, actually, it looks all right. So then we've got a median in here. And what we're going to do is put tram tracks over there and I think here we'll need to turn off the tram track transport option possibly Can we do that yep perfect uh, no parking can we make this a little bit thinner as well yep and wondering could we maybe get in some trees or some grass, maybe? Make this a little bit bigger. Yeah, I think that'll serve quite well. I'm not sure what that beeping is. It's probably this tower over here, isn't it? But they shouldn't make that noise, surely. <laughs> um, and we might... Up the speed limit on this road to 60 as well. 
So we should be able to just go through and upgrade some roads. And we might also try and have the light rail avoiding some of these sort of intersections like this. Um, I don't think it'll impact too much if it doesn't, but it'll, I guess, be like a little bit of a quicker journey potentially. So let's get upgrading. What will this come under? Come under this one. And we've got a curve too tight issue we're going to have here. And that is probably okay. We can maybe make this a four-way potentially, or we could just have it coming in at more of a 90. I wonder if this guy's even needed anymore. 163, 500 output. And what is our current usage? Mm. We're probably okay, but we would need to replace it before too long. So we might leave it in there. And possibly slightly realign this road, actually. Perfect, like so. Now we're going to have a challenge here getting through this bit here because obviously we've built stuff reasonably close to the road. So we could push these back a little bit, which I know is not the most realistic, is it? Or we could take a slightly different route for the light rail, maybe come around the back of these buildings. I think we might actually do that. So then what we'll do, we'll just go back to our regular 2 plus 2 road. It's a little bit kinked there. Let's see if we can fix that. There we go. And we will get a separate tram track. Which will break off here. Oh, that's interesting. These are all one way. Okay, we're going to need to fix that, of course. Um, but luckily with a road builder, uh, that's easy as. Not really any problem with it. So we will select the road that we've been working on. We're going to edit all instances and then what we will do, we'll change the direction of this road here. Yep, yeah, okay, perfect. That's all we need to do. So what we will do now is we will have a straight section that's just going to run along the back here. So we can have a stop there nice and easy. Now I'm wondering if we can curve this around. Yeah, we can. Okay, cool. Now this is a custom bridge which we can't edit. So unfortunately, well, we've got two options, I guess. We can either just have this joining back up and just have it run over, which I don't know if we can even do, to be honest. Do we have any four lane unique bridges that we could use instead? Got an arch bridge. We could do. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. Uh, it's going to be a shared um, road now, obviously. It's not going to be actually want to get rid of this bit because it looks a bit silly with it not being straight like so and we might actually redirect this a little bit and potentially have it joining up onto Pleasant Street then it becomes less of a rat run I guess cool so let's Get tram tracks all the way through and then what we'll actually do Ooh, let's see yep 
Yeah, perfect. That actually works. Somewhat. Anyway. A little bit ugly. So we've done this end. <laughs> we just sort of like gave up on this end and didn't continue working on it. But we can run this all the way into town. We might potentially have it terminate here. Which I wonder if we can... If this will work. If we convert this... And I wonder... Actually, that's fine. I wish we could get rid of this. Yeah, so I think we can have this terminate here. And we can obviously just have it run sort of the length over there. We can probably move this radio mast. Um, I don't know if we actually need it anymore. Let's have a look. We can get in a new large one, maybe. I think we can get this one out of the way, though. Yeah, probably. To be honest, we could get like a new one up here or something like that. Do that for the moment. Also, we had one just there anyway. Um, and yeah, so what we're going to do, we're just going to have some standalone segments here. I'm going to slightly realign this bit as well. Lovely. So we should have a connection now all the way along the coast here, right? Yeah, perfect. One thing I've actually noticed, because we removed parking lanes here, I think there is a bus stop on either side. On this side, um, there's no pull-in bay, because the, pull, the bay that they have to pull into is determined by whether or not parking's available. I don't know if you can have parking against a median anyway. Um, so I think it's okay like that. I mean, there may not even be a need for the bus, at least not to run down this road now that we've got our light rail in. The question for me, which I'm not sure what the answer is, is can we get platforms down on these sections? Hopefully we can. If not, of course, we're going to need to do some modifying. So we'll start over here. Yeah, perfect. So we can still get platforms down there. It looks like though that the medians turn back to like a regular rather than having um, trees and grass on them, which is a little bit unfortunate. Um, it would be cool to be able to maintain that, but it, it does make sense, I guess. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to lay down um, a whole lot of stops along this route in preparation. And then we're sort of into this new area. So we might have it just loop around and then come back, I think, at this point. We may slightly change these roads as well, the topography, because this is a bit gross, isn't it? Um, but for the moment, it will do. Now, the other thing we need to keep in mind is we don't have a connection to our light rail depot up here. And I don't know if this, I don't know if at this point it's worth making that connection either because it's going to be a lot of track. So we might get a standalone depot over here, maybe in this little patch of land um, that's sort of been sitting a little bit unloved for a little bit. We might get a light rail depot in there instead. Let's see if we can flatten out a little pad for it as well. Turn off snapping because it's annoying me. <laughs> I think we only need the one connection here, actually.
There we go. Pretty decent, I think. Are these people waiting for the bus or for the light rail? Okay, I think they're waiting for the bus. I was like, that's a bit odd. There's no light rail here yet. No. But we do have a nice little transfer point in here as well. I'm hoping that our light rail vehicles won't be stopped by like traffic lights or anything like that. Of course, aside from like here. Fingers crossed anyway, because I don't really think there's all that many traffic lights on the route anyway, so I think it'll be okay. But yeah, let's um, get our new light rail route down. There we go. So we've got our new light rail route down. I'm really excited to see how this performs because I think it'll be pretty cool. Look, I'm not going to lie. That is not the thing you want to see on your first day operating a light rail network. Uh, Road Builder also allows us to clean up our lines sort of around our CBD area as well. Obviously, we've got three pairs of tracks here that are sort of parallel. Um, it's not the nicest looking thing. So if we could put those on a single... Um, sort of bridge it'll be a much nicer thing to look at and it'll save us a tiny bit of space as well so i'm going to see what we can do in terms of probably sex duplicating this bit here i'm um, having two pairs going in that direction and one going that direction and then yeah just combine these into a single six track section uh, this is where i might break things so let's see how we go we're of course going to need to delete stuff unfortunate uh, what we might do actually is just keep the center section of track and we'll use that to build out I guess the shoulder is where the pylons come from unfortunately we can't make those any skinnier but if we put one on the other side what happens Not much. So we, in effect, we're going to need double shoulders. I would say eventually they're going to get in some assets once the editor goes live that will give you like four or six track span um, overheads, hopefully. <laughs> um, and that'll make that a little bit better to work with. And make these a little, I guess, a little more compact. Oop, hang on. So we're going to need, hang on, what, what, what's happened? Uh, it's just a pole though, <laughs> there's nothing there, hang on. We need to make it two meters. And then, no? I don't understand. Oh, hang on. That's a tram. Okay. Never mind. I do understand. I was just an idiot. Okay. So we will, yeah, need. Oh, okay. That's sort of cool. It'd be great if you could have a, um, a dual double direction pole. It doesn't actually look like having the two shoulders even does anything. Well, let's see. Let's see what we can do there. So we've got our uh, six tracks. Beautiful. And what we should be able to do now, go to our train and see if we can upgrade these and what it actually does when we do so. 
Oh man, that's that's really ugly. Isn't it? Like the nodes like aren't big enough. Are they? We can't really do anything. Hang on. Okay. Is there anything else I can do with the editor here that... No, it looks like... That's pretty much it. Unfortunate, isn't it? Oh, fuck. I stuffed up. Two very boring minutes later. If we could... Just draw another sort of short section of this. Like so. Too much. Uh, this isn't turning out how I hoped it would. I'm not going to lie. Oh. Look, we're just going to have to deal with a little bit of ugliness here, I think. Now, question is, can we fix this shamozzle without having too much? So could we... Will it work if we have, like, this? Have them, like, able to go... Like, over one from themselves. I think it potentially does. rather than being able to go absolutely anywhere. I think that's okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Now, across the other side, we're just going to do more or less the same thing. I'm hoping that all of this will... Yeah, it looks like everything is running absolutely fine, exactly as it was before. So we can unpause. And yeah, while there's some jank there, I think all around that is a lot nicer uh, than it was when it was sort of three parallel roads or three parallel pairs of tracks. So it's good to see. Now over here, we're going to do a similar thing. Um, we are going to transfer, we're going to convert this over to be six tracks. Um, our little sort of slip track, we're going to need to work out how that will work, but I think it'll be fairly simple to get fixed up. We might sort of straighten it out and have it coming in more directly on. So what we'll do, we'll convert this existing track into our six track. And then we'll sort of work from there. I think this should work. Without too much bother. At least got that bit, which was the bit, I think, at least, that was the uh, concern. 
Uh, we should be able to connect these guys up in a fairly simple way. It's okay, we can fix this. <laughs> All right. Do the old remove all connections trick once again. I think that's good enough. <laughs> it works at least. All right, it really sucks that if you even go into the edit instance button, um, it resets all your node connections. I might see if I can raise that as feedback, but I don't know if they'll be able to identify like if anything's changed or the um, purely clicking into it will reset all the node connections. Um, but it's all right, I'll, I'll fix this up in a bit. Um, we'll kick on with the episode though. So I think what we're gonna do from here, we'll have four tracks splitting off and heading in this direction. Now we're going to need to actually follow a different um, I would say line to get through here because yeah, it's a bit tight there. And I think through here probably will get us through. We might need to raise our bus uh, bridge a little bit, but I think it will work. We now need now a four track set. So we will uh, create a new template. We've got now a four track. And let's see, I think we're going to need to head through sort of this angle here. We might come quite close to some pylons, but I think we'll actually be okay. I say that and uh, we're cutting it very close, aren't we? I reckon we're actually okay there. Um, obviously, I think our bus bridge does need to be changed slightly, but that's okay. A reasonably nice connection there. And then we can just use a double train track to make our connection here. All right, that is fixed up. Now. God, there is so much, so many pylons here. It's ridiculous. I reckon coming through here is probably going to be the only way we can do it. as well. Might as well just get rid of the whole section. Question is... Does that fit? No, it doesn't. So I think how we're going to have to go. It's 
through here. And then through here. <laughs> um, actually, can we do a smoother? Somewhat smoother. It's not the worst. <laughs> That's sort of the mantra, isn't it, for um <laughs> for <laughs> for this episode. Okay, so I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna fix all the gross. Um, little junctions we've created as well. 346 minutes later. Alrighty, this should hopefully function and look a lot better now that we've got these six track segments in and four track segments as well. I'm hopeful anyway. <laughs> uh, now that we've actually got all the tracks hooked up at this section, we should activate the second pair. And we should be able to split out some of these. What the hell is this? <laughs> oh, wow. Um, that is not going to be good for traffic. If we've got literally... Hang on, where is... Where's the stop? <laughs> where is the stop? Uh, well, there's no passengers waiting at that one. So I guess there's this one. 852 passengers waiting. Where are... Where, where are our trams? Do we have enough? Uh, have they exploded somewhere and died? That's a good question. Oh, wow. Wow. These are massive numbers. What about this one here? Where is the stop for that one? 1217! Oh! That is ridiculous. Um, who's waiting for what? I, I don't think we can tell, can we? Okay. Um, no, it doesn't really tell you who's waiting for which line. But... Hang on. Tram line 3 is our 1-2 Katara. I'm just going to give these some names just so I can tell them apart. I mean, this has got me shook. This is ridiculous. We need more vehicles running, don't we? Definitely. Let's bump that up to 10. And for our university line, we're actually going to need to do the same thing, I assume. Um, where's our university terminus stop? Actually, I'm not sure because it's hard to tell. Because um, we can't see who's waiting at what. It's the same numbers on both. Definitely Katara line, I think, needs some boosting. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, we're going to have to watch that really, really closely. I did not know that it was going to be like that. If we had high capacity light rail vehicles, that would be ideal, which unfortunately we don't. What is this guy doing? Um, that's not cricket, to be honest. Gosh, we need to, yeah, wow. Do we need more transport options potentially? Maybe a bus from Katara into the university? That both will, you know, allow people 
in these areas to get to the university and also give them an alternate means of transport as well. They can get to the um, underground station there or they can go to university or they can switch on to the other light rail line. I think we might need to do that. Because, yeah, that's, that's not looking good at all. So what we might do is we'll have it start over on this side. We'll have it sort of cross over. Um, maybe have a stop at our cemetery and then terminate at the university. Let's give that a go. I don't think we've got a bus stop at all at the university, do we? So we might allow interchange with the... Um, light rail as well. We can just turn around on the sort of periphery of the suburb as it stands today. No connection there. I didn't see that. Um, uh, we might just need to just do that then. Yeah, that's probably okay. All right, let's see how we go with this now. See if that sort of alternate route of transport does take some of the pressure off our light rail system. Because yeah, this is just not sustainable <laughs> at all. But yeah, that is going to be about all we've got time for in this episode. Oh, I'm, I love this new tram route that we've been able to get set up. I think it's really cool. Um, and now, of course, that the pollution is disappearing out of this sort of area, we might be able to develop further out towards our main road as well to um, slot in some more medium and high density residential. I think next episode, among other things, we might need to look at spending some time working on our public transport. Um, especially in those sort of higher density, more populated areas. Because as you saw, the number of people waiting at some of those stops was absolutely ridiculous. If you've enjoyed this episode, please make sure you give it a like, subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so you get a ding to your device the next time I post a video. You can find links to my social media in the description, so please jump on there, like, follow, subscribe, do all that wonderful stuff. Big shout out to my Founders Club patron, Caleb. Caleb, thank you so much for helping to make this content possible. If you want to help out at home, you can do so by popping onto patreon.com forward slash Bob Dendry, by becoming a member of the YouTube channel, or you can just leave a one-off super thanks for the content. But until next time, I'm Bob Dendry. This is City Skylines 2. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.